Guys, what's going on? My name's Dave. This is Dick's 4x4 Garage, and today we're going to get into some stuff on Goldie. So, doing these swaps, there's a lot that you got to think about with fuel system and wiring and everything else. So there's there's a lot going on. There's some stuff that you need to do right away, and then there's some stuff that can be done later. So one of the things that can be done later, which obviously is later for me because I didn't do it when I first installed this. So as far as the tank goes, I don't have it vented right now. And when you open the gas cap, this has been sitting all night, so maybe it'll make a ch sound. Well, I vented it yesterday, but when you drive it, anytime you drive it, it builds up pressure in there and then when it cools off then it it creates a vacuum in there and so you really don't want that to happen because over time you know maybe over time you know it can weaken the tank maybe you know something like that i don't know in my crawler i i didn't vent the tank because i was out wheeling and i didn't want to have an issue if it rolled or something happened like you know i just wanted everything all sealed up and uh, and that's how i ran it now on this one since I'm driving it a lot, I'm going to be two and towing on the freeway for long distances, so I ain't going to be able to like, you know, I just want it to be, be right, right? So what I'm going to do here is I've got this sucker off a of summit. Let's see if you can see that there, and it is a, it's just a tank vent rollover valve, so it's got a, I don't know here. Let me see if you can hear it. So it's got a check ball in it, so it'll vent. So in and out. And then if you roll over, clink, it shuts it off and it won't let fuel escape. So I need to find a suitable location to mount this today. And uh, this is the top of it here. It's just, uh, I don't know, I think it's aluminum, but it uh, I don't know, might not be aluminum. But anyways, it's just, it was from Tanks Inc. I got it from Summit. And it uh, comes with a nice washer and a nice O-ring right here that kind of seals things up. And then this goes down right on top so all i really need to do is make a little l bracket and so i looked around through the through the scrap pile and what i found was that i had something that's going to work out pretty good so i found this guy this was actually came with my low car transmission dipstick tube and bango flango so what i'm going to have to do is just like trim the washer a little bit so that way i can center it in this hole here and then I already kind of did a little testing on it last night, and then I just got to put my O-ring down and screw my deal on top. Now I'm thinking about where to mount it in the truck, and so I've got a couple locations in mind. I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to avoid the bed or maybe just tuck it up inside the bed somewhere to where, you know, it's not really going to get damaged. I mean, it's rubber. It's going to be, I'm going to use this 5 16th rubber hose, so this is the size. And I think the actual port on the tank, somewhere around 5 16ths, but either way, we'll clamp it and it'll be all right. So, yeah, I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe inside the bed, that way I can route it. It'll come up, route across the uh, bottom of the bed, and then it'll come up and climb and I'll mount it towards the top of the bed. And then, you know, obviously it's open air. It's not covered by anything. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, I guess the only kind of situation maybe I'd get in if, you know, maybe I want to do a truck bed tent or do something like that, but um, I don't have any plans to do that right now. So I'm really not sweating it. So I'm going to do that. And besides this guy here, there's no actual filter on it. Now there is a screen inside there that's going to keep, um, you know, big stuff out, but with fuel sloshing around in there, it can create a vacuum and it can suck dirt and stuff like that in there. I think I might just cover it with something, maybe zip tie it around here. Um, I don't know, like a, some kind of fabric or filter material. And then that way it'll let it vent and then it'll just keep, you know, keep dirt and stuff from going in there. So I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. I could probably use these natural holes in the bed, but I'm probably gonna do, take a hole saw cut a nice little hole right there and I think I'm just gonna run it either run it right up the side inside of the bed or run it right up this bolster and then put put the vent I don't know probably put the vent maybe like right here somewhere and I think that'll be good enough
All right, guys, let's take a look, see what's going on here. So this is it. So ran it to the tank, comes uh, up the fuel neck, and I'll show you up underneath. And then it comes up, put a little loom under it, put a little clamp on the hose, and uh, hooked it to it. So like I said, I put a, just a little bit of, little bit of grease up on the O-ring and uh, tighten her down. And then uh, I just had to notch the washer a little bit just so it would kind of sit in the center. It was kind of pushing it too far to one side. I didn't want the washer, or excuse me, the O-ring to like push down in the hole. Um, but yeah, so I mean, shit, I don't know. I, I kind of was racking my brain on where to put it, but I don't know, I figured there would be cool. And then I can actually, once I fill it up, I can monitor it. And if I want to change it, then I just change it and put it somewhere else. You know what I mean? So uh, anyway, so this is it. I, I didn't have enough room to get my hole saw up in here to go through. So it actually runs like right through, like it just passes nice and easy through there. And it ain't going nowhere. It won't let it fall out and it won't really let it go up. So it's just kind of, kind of a natural zip tie, if you know what I'm saying. And then I zip tied it to here. And uh, super simple, nothing crazy. Uh, you don't have to just as long as it'll vent and I smelling it I'm smelling it and it's venting and uh, like I said when I I cracked it open before I took the hose off and like you could tell pressure was coming out so it, it I think it's definitely gonna help like I could tell sometimes when I would uh, open it let me get up out of here uh, I could tell sometimes when I was opening the cap that like the tank you could hear it go you know like so it was like like flopping back into place i mean i don't think it hurt anything but but yeah so now i won't have it going like a mofo and i don't know i don't know it came out okay not not too not too incredibly bad i think it looks okay and like i said i think i might just put something over it i don't know freaking baby sock or something and zip tie it around it so it don't come off and so it won't pick up anything. And that was kind of one of my concerns with putting it down here. Now, obviously I could have put some kind of filter material over it, but I was kind of concerned that with everything kicking up, that there would be like a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of dust kicking up. And so I figured that up there would be the place, you know, like ideally I probably could have just ran it you know, ran it up into the engine bay, vented it out here or uh, to a charcoal canister. And maybe I will in the future, like just do it to a charcoal canister. So I don't know, it'll work for now. But at least it's a rollover valve and it won't let it leak if I flop it on its side or rack or something like that. So that's it. Appreciate you guys rolling with me. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it and uh, subscribe if you want to join the family. You guys take it easy. Catch you next time.